Our next caller is Nick from Maryland. Hey, what's up, Nick? How can we help you? Hi, guys. Uh, thanks for having me on. So um, as I've been doing more strength training over the last uh, four or five months or so, um, I've begun to develop my ulna bone seems to uh, experience a lot of strain. Um, it's only on one wrist, so I don't know if it's a overall structure thing or if it's a muscle imbalance. Um, but as I've gotten stronger, I've noticed doing like straight bar bench and things like that. Um, the bone seems to push out, which turns my whole hand inward now. Um, I haven't had any injuries on it or anything like that, so I'm not too sure what the origin of it is. But somebody suggested it needs to be more of a, a wrist uh, stability strengthening solution. Yeah, Nick. So, so uh, this is common when people are utilizing a grip that is not ideal on the bar. Okay, so first off, you want a full grip. You want a tight, strong grip. You want to keep your wrist strong, uh, straight, which means you may not be able to lift as much because mm -hmm. you might be, you might be, you know, you might have gotten used to a particular grip, which means you're stronger with a grip that's not beneficial. So, change the grip. But here's what I would do first. First thing I would do is I would avoid barbell and I would stick to all dumbbells and I would maintain a real straight, strong grip that doesn't uh, that doesn't cause pain in my wrist. Wait till the pain subsides. Then when you go back to barbell work, go much lighter and get used to a different grip on the bar or a way that doesn't hurt your wrist. I would also try something that's uh, pretty unconventional. Uh, if you have access to kettlebells, oh, you're gonna go same place yeah, I was doing bottoms yeah, up. Yeah, bottoms press. up press. Yeah. Uh, just because it's. It, it's so revealing as to where you know you're not properly stabilizing. You don't have the strength to keep that uh, nice tight fist um, it, it, because it's going to be moving on you. It's going to be moving left to right. It's going to be moving front to back. Um, it might even try to rotate on you. And so you have to account for that while you're pressing it up super slow. And this is a very challenging exercise on its own, let alone somebody with wrist issues. So I would go very light. Uh, and, and really like try and work on that for quite some time until you feel like you have a solid, uh, you know, stable grip with that. I love that recommendation because that was the direction I was going to go. The other, Justin, I don't know there's names. You would know the names better than I would. Um, there's good uh, Indian club exercises too. I don't know if there's... Uh, like there are. There are wrist rolls and different types of uh, casting uh, movements that you can do with with the Indian clubs. Um, and and basically you can roll your wrist in circles, you know, different, uh, different directions. So there's... Plenty of that, plenty of videos on that. I think I've even done some of the videos on that as well, yeah. uh, but that would be very helpful for you as well. Yeah, so Nick, the thing you're going to want to be careful for, because it's going to be very tempting to wear wrist braces and wrist wraps. Yeah. So that you I started with wraps. Now I've gotten so used to it, yeah. Yeah, because what'll happen is it's just, and I know why it's tempting, right? You don't want to go lighter. So you're like, oh, I'm, I'm lifting this much. If I wear the wrist brace or wrist wrap, I can continue to lift heavy. And do this lift, but I, I, I caution you because if your wrist continues down this path, I mean, your hands connect you to everything you do with resistance training for your upper body. And even for some lower body stuff, I've known people who can't squat because of wrist problems because they can't put their hand uh, back on mm -hmm. the bar. So I would say go with dumbbells, go lighter and, and start to get used to a different grip, a strong, straight grip. And don't worry, you'll, event you'll get back to where you were before, but then you won't be limited uh, by wrist pain anymore. By the way, this I experienced this myself for a long time. For a long time, I, I pressed with a thumbless, you know, what they call suicide grip. My wrist would be bent back, and I, I ended up getting good at it. And if I did another grip, I had to go lighter, so I was really hard-headed about it, and I did what you did, is I put the wrist wraps on, did the whole thing. And it, it just became a, a big problem. And it's like, okay, you know, I, I want to be able to work out without needing all these aids on my body. So I had to back off. It took me a few months but then when I got back to where I was, and then I surpassed it. And I, I was able to surpass it with better biomechanics. All got right. it. All right, cool. Well, thanks for calling in, Nick. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. No problem. All right. I knew Justin was going to go that direction. I was like, damn, <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Stole it is that from really me. tempting yeah. when you're working out and you notice a little bit of joint pain and you're hitting PRs mm -hmm. and you're like, do I work on mobility or do I just put on a knee brace? Or do I work on mobility or do I just put on – wrist, you know, wraps or whatever. It's really, ch I, this was a big problem for me when me I was too. younger. I mean, I, I, 
I, maybe Justin's the only one out of us that didn't do this as bad. I definitely did this with every, almost everything. He I wasn't strong enough to have problems. <laughs> I stayed in the, the lightweight uh, range of the gym, so I was just fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's, I mean, very common. This is one of those things that, especially you do a, a lot of barbell work, yeah. and, and you're not addressing these things right away, it's just going to catch up to you. Just like with the shoulder, like any kind of position that's not ideal, you're going to end up uh, inevitably hitting that wall where it's going to talk to you with pain. 